start the episode. Hello and welcome episode. back everybody to Nestacular Tuesday. In this episode Hello, we're gonna tackle a game that I've played more Tuesday. only once. In this episode we're gonna tackle I think. a game that I've played I think I've tried out the once. NES version of Bubble Bowl before. I think I've tried and that is the exact NES game we're gonna stream. This stream is not gonna be longer than about two hours. No particular reason. This stream is not gonna be longer than about two hours. A maximum of two hours. No particular reason. I'm yes. A maximum of. Because I assume this game gonna get stale after a while. But uh, we shall find out. The music is very nice. It's, it's you know very nice at the very least, in my opinion. The music is very nice. It's, it's, why? Why was it turned to food? Maybe that's the thing with this game. Why was it turned? Enemies turn to food. Maybe that's the thing. Then you eat them. Enemies turn to food. Maybe that's the thing. Then you eat them. I know that the. I think it's the DS version of uh, Bubble Bobble that's unbeatable. The DS version of uh, Bubble And it's unbeatable because unbeatable. one of the levels does not have an exit. And it's unbeatable because. Unbeatable. One of the levels does not have an exit. I'm not even sure what's going on in the game, or even how I'm killing them. I'm not even sure what's going on in the game, or even how I'm killing them. Okay, so they turn aggressive after they die. Oh, and the fruit disappears after a while, okay. Hello, who sees? Welcome oh, to stream, hope and enjoy. Also, I have okay. something. I should open up. Hello, who sees? Welcome to stream, hope and enjoy. My chat on the phone. So I'm gonna pause the game real quick here. I'm gonna pause the game real quick here. I'm gonna pause the game real quick here. But yeah, welcome to the stream, who sees? But yeah, welcome to the stream, who sees? There's echoes. There's echoes how? In music, commentary. Echoes how? In music, commentary. See, the only sound source is. See, the only sound source is. Like those clips you made in Mass Effect. Like is the sound on? on yeah, okay, I found it. The sound is on on Twitch again. I thought I turned it off, but clearly I didn't. Um, yeah, there we go. Thanks for letting me know so I could fix it early. Oh, you've been playing Grace's F? How do you. Oh, and you. Think it's so. It's really good so far. Okay, apparently my chat is not connecting on the phone. So I have to restart the thing on my phone. There we go, now the chat is working on the phone. How far in Grace's F have you got them so far? Oh wow, we both killed each other there. Not bad. Should probably go for the food over here first. Or not, because I didn't get the time to do it. Alright. Oh man. I was about to say, this is a really effective killing method, but uh, then he got me. You must beat the robot to met Sophie for the second time. Oh yeah, Grace's F's uh, battle system is amazing, if you ask me. I absolutely love it. Best battle system in the series, in my opinion. Whoops, he doodled. That could have ended badly. Whoops! Can I grab the fruit? I could not. Though I still stand by uh, that the story is the weakest part of uh, Tales of Graces F. It's uh, very cliched. It is sweet too, sure, but it's very cliched. If you watch a lot of anime, it's basically that. Because it's a, a common plotline in the anime, in my opinion. So, you know, if you enjoy anime, you might enjoy the story more than I did. 
I also have seen the story so many different times, uh, different, you know, variations of it. Okay, so I have no idea what fruit gives me what points. But, um, a friend of mine, Kony's board, had Bubble Bottle's uh, enemies as a mascot for its YouTube channel. In which he made some kind of storyline. It was pretty fun to watch. A bit silly, sure, but you know, all in good fun. Now, oh, yeah, music is not the strongest I either, I guess. God damn it, I died. I like several of the themes, but um, eh, I can agree that it's one of the weaker Tales soundtracks. How many lives do I have? Must be the zero down below, actually. That showcase my many lives. Which is in this case none, I think. Okay, so apparently, uh, if I get this correctly, you have to jump under the bubble to destroy it. B, C, J, J, I. B, C, J, J I right Oh maybe I could have just done that. No need to use the password. Cause maybe the game allows me to continue onwards if as long as I don't start over with the game. But we start off great by dying, you know. And lose out the crystal just as I'm about to get it. Okay, so the bubbles push me away. The bubbles with the water in them. But it also seems to take out the enemies. I don't like these... Um, these dragons. That are the ones that bounces from left and right. Okay, it was B, C, J, J, I. But I can just do this to continue. Okay, so the number two down there was my health. I mean, I mean my life. Okay, so they can't go through flo uh, the, the ceilings and, uh, at the very least. Wow, nice death there. Man, this level is difficult to say the very least. I can't believe I actually killed him, only to die by his friend. Okay, incredibly lucky. Only to run into the goddamn enemy. Oh, you ha I didn't know this was for the Game Boy as well. I know that the DS version is broken and can't be beaten because one of the bosses doesn't have a uh, ending programmed in into the game. But yeah, so far, this level is difficult. But, you know, I don't mind a challenge. I've been doing really well on the games I've been playing prior to this. Even if I have died on some of them as well. Okay, it's only the fast one left, and I finally got him. And I also got the fruit, not bad. Pretty sure they never fixed the issue either. So th that, that game is just unbreakable, or unbeatable, unless of course you have a Game Shark device, or a Pro Action Code. Uh, there's a different couple of kinds. Okay, so he's gonna go Berserk any second now. 
or not. Because his friends are still in bubbles. But if I do it like this, they're gonna die. And I'm apparently gonna get stuck. How lovely. Why do they have section of the map you can get stuck in? I'm a big fan when, you know, games have poor design. Even if it's an old game. Okay, so I think I need to go down in order to uh, get them. I don't really have much else choice in that matter. Okay, I can't go down to get them. And I can't go over on the left side. And thanks to those bubbles, I can't go over on the right side either. Okay, so how am I supposed to get inside? Oh, oh, what? Okay, so you can jump on the bubbles. Oh, I must have jumped into the enemy. Okay, I get it. Now, the qu real question is, how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, by jumping on the bubbles. Okay. So, not gonna lie, pretty an interesting game design. I just hate it, though. Because it's kind of confusing. Oh wow, pretty big of them to even admit it. I wouldn't expect any game company to admit such a thing. Or rather not most game developers anyway. Okay, so I can't shoot the enemy bubbles at the very least. A little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Okay, good, I got him. So we're on level 14, it seems. supposed to be good for. I do like these robots, they're easy to kill. Oh, we could go through there, that's pretty cool. Okay, some stuff I like about the game. You could, you don't seem to be able to go through the uh, gaps if they're only one hole or pixel, uh, a 4x4 four four pixel by... But, I mean... Okay, password is ab. But the small gap on the sides seems to be able to go, go through. God damn it, I died again. This game is very lenient on you, though, with how you easily can start back from where you died. I like that. That is actually rather good game design. Game design that was ahead of its time. By quite a lot. I want the uh, bell pepper over there. God damn it, I didn't get it. The reason why I wanted it was because it gives me the most points.
Um, what was... Oh, lightnings! Oh, and those things can shoot fireballs at me. Good to know. Okay, I just casually put his bubble around. Or pushed his bubble around, I mean. Oh, and you can jump out of stuff, so that's pretty cool also. Again, not truly sure what the lightning is for. Maybe it's just there to stun me or something, I don't know. Okay, this map looks slightly confusing. I like the music to bottle, Bubble Bottle. It's calming and nice. I like how I started by getting an extra life. Only to lose it by dying. Terrific. Um. What the heck was... Oh, 2000. I thought it said 2DDD. The steros looks like these to me. Oh, maybe I can just stand here and shoot bubbles and hoping they will get hit by them. Get them that way. Maybe go out to shoot them once. All of them can go inside of here, that is. That's not too sure about. Some people would call this cheating, I would call this strategy. The people who are calling this cheating though, they would be correct. <laughs> These are some cheap tactics, to say the very least. Uh, the real question is, how do I get out of here? Uh oh. This is not nice at all, because I can't get out of here. I had no other choice but to take that death. No, 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 no. Okay, I can't shoot it through here. Okay, some- No, I got him, good. I was about to say, something tells me that I have to redo this level. But nope. I managed to hit him there. I have no idea how many levels there are in this game. I've never be played this game. Oh, rather, I've never beaten it. I think the game restarts, though, after a while. You know, kind of like classic uh, NES games would. Oh, I can play- replay it previous rounds too, apparently. Okay, he went far too high up for me for- in order to reach him. You know, I can use the bubble to jump up into the enemies and die, that also works. Or I can use the water to push me down, that also works, actually. Or not, because it won't let me anymore. Okay, so the red one got out. And then I died. At least I did get both of them downstairs. Or down below, I mean. Is he gonna be stuck up there now? Nope, because he killed me.
Okay, so all the flyers are dead. Okay, this actually works to my advantage. Or it would have had if I didn't die. Can I crack this one? Yeah, I can, but it won't help me. Really, game? Really? There we go, got him. Okay, level 21. Okay, so the music kind of gets repetitive and annoying after a while. Not gonna lie, it does. Even if it is nice, it is also very annoying to hear on repeat. Ooh, that's a big crystal. Or diamond. At least I grabbed two of them. Oh, I see how I'm supposed to get them. With the lightning bubbles and doing it like this. Pretty clever, honestly. Nice, I got them all three in one go there. And because of that, I got a lot of points at the same time. Okay, we have the flyers. Okay, so only way down is to fall. Alright. There we go, double kill. Oh, I really want a bell pepper, but I don't think I can get it in time. Yeah, I fell way too slowly. Oh wait, I can just jump up like this. I didn't think about it until I just realized it now. Of course, they're gonna travel downwards eventually anyway. Which is in my best bet to kill them when they're down below where I'm at. But I also do have time on me. Because if I'm not fast enough, the ghost will come and take me. Really, game? That was just cruel. Because the game knows I'm terrible at climbing up there. Oh, it says popcorn, okay. At first, for some reason, I thought it said poggers. Which would make sense, considering that poggers didn't exist then. Okay, those crystals are gonna disappear, right? No, they didn't. And I got an extra life, nice. Maybe there's a hundred stages, or ninety-nine stages, and then it repeats itself. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, so I can't breathe fire here, but... I could make them die. I mean bubbles. I can't breathe bubbles in the fire. Let's try with you first. What the hell? 
Why did I just fall through the level? That makes absolutely no sense. How I would just fall through the level like that. I guess it's because you can't jump up, so you have to go down some way. And somehow. So you just flat out fall there, I guess. Oh, I guess it's so you can get back up here, okay. I guess that's pretty cool then. Yeah, but I think this one was actually intended, unlike uh, <laughs> those glitches where I just fell fall down. Holy shit, that's a big ass combo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good thing you ran there. Thank you for doing that. Oh look, it's a robot. How cute. Oh wow, you can eat just spam the bubbles too. I was about to get the fruit. That is a shame. That is a shame. Oh. New enemies again. Alright. Some kind of bouncer enemy. And a new type of fruit. Alright. Did, did not realize that was an enemy until he actually hit me. It's all about the timing on their movement! I say and then I die. Of course, the last one might not be so easy to do this with. In fact, I got a game over trying to go for him. Really game. Really game. Might as well just die then. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna try my best! Only to die again, okay. I did not pay attention to my back there. God damn it, he got me. <laughs> ah, this is terrible. Okay, so I jumped into the enemy and it killed me now. Great. And it went the wrong way, of course it did. Why would it go the way I wanted it to go? Okay, there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. I thought I had a rhythm in, but clearly I did not. And 
And now they changed their pattern. Of course they did. There we go. Got it. Got him. Okay, now it's shit. What? Stop changing the goddamn rules, game. Ah. Bye bye. Not gonna get me here. Okay, lightning goes down on the opposite side. No, 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 no. Yes, I got him and I died. Fuck me. Did that still count as beating the level? It did, yes! <laughs> oh, that is so good. That is so good. There we go. Oops, I'm not supposed to close it down. That was just beautiful. That was absolutely just fantastic. <laughs> At least I beat the level. <laughs> the game was nice enough to let me beat the level. That was just amazing. Can't even be angry at that. that. That was just pure amazing. Man, I love that about old NES games. That stuff like that can happen. Super annoying when it happens in indie games. Because it all often recurs with, uh, you know... An unbreakable glitch. Okay, fa ooh, a heart. Oh wow, that's some kind of super thing. Now the question is, how do I get out of here? Like that. Okay, so the heart, definitely worth it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, because I got lucky with the heart. <laughs> Okay, so we have fire in this level as well. Good to know. Oh yeah, the fire is preventing me from jumping further, I think. Nope, it isn't. So how exactly am I supposed to get out of here? Okay, so apparently you can double jump using your thing. Okay, honestly, how am I supposed to get these? not think about the guy above me though. Well, I guess I could use the fire. I guess not since I decided to get stuck instead. Okay, I can't use the fire. At all. Okay, there we go. So apparently you can use the bubbles to jump your way back up. 
It is a very strange thing. It's uh, difficult to explain how the hell I, I'm doing it. Okay, let's wait for the fire to take him out. There we go, I won. Yeah, so I can just walk, jump on the bubbles, it seems. Mechanic I didn't know. Existed until now! I knew you could jump on the other bubbles, though! Just not your, your own. Okay, I do want the bell pepper. Yes, I got it! Right before the time ran out, I thought. I actually had more time on me than I realized. Okay, jump. Maybe I can only jump on them while they're on the ground. God damn it! I didn't realize there were two. I didn't realize there were two. I thought there was only one. So I died. Triple KO! Fuck. As I got up, I died. That's just terrific. Should have done that, but I was kind of stressed out with the um, ghosts and all. Maybe I can. No, oh, it's a question mark, okay. Okay, got a triple kill. God damn it, I died again. Gotta love how quickly you make progress in this game. You beat one level, you die. You beat the level, you die. You know, some good stuff. You somehow miraculously survive. Then you die on the next stage. get special letters and then you die again If I could stop that, it would be lovely so I could actually hit this guy. Thank you, game. Yeah, hurry, whatever. I just beat the level regardless. Like how the fire put itself down there. Oh, so close. Oh, really? Only have one letter left. Totally worth it! Also totally worth it! Oh, that is so many diamonds. 
And I still got it, nice. Not that much points for them, though. Okay, we have some kind of cross. That I'm gonna grab. Oh shit, oh boy. Yeah, I fell faster than the enemies. God damn it. I was kinda hoping that I wouldn't. But that was simply the case. I fell faster than the enemy did. Or enemies, to be exact. Oh boy, this is gonna end badly for me. No, it didn't. I survived. Talk about being lucky. Except that that guy never stopped falling. Man, the enemies of this game just become weirder and weirder, and then they kill you. It's round 40 now, though. I fell down. Okay, so the shoes make me faster, it seems. <laughs> Not only did I fall through the floor, I fell right on the enemy too. Okay, I could have won there, but alas, I did not. Totally worth it. Because I got them both out of it. One enemy remains, and he disappeared, of course he did. But I got him. Ooh, I want that big crystal though. I'm not gonna get it though. No, why did I go this route? That was stupid. Okay, an explanation mark. Okay, so I can't jump in a fire, it seems, until for a very long time I've passed. Yes, I managed to grab it in time. Even got an extra life out of it, not bad. Okay, so we have these guys now. I really like it when they fall through the level like this. It's kind of stupid. Also, not sure what that sound just was. There we go, got him. Easy peasy. You also have to play it slow. Take my time. Oh boy, this can't be good, can it? Okay, maybe it can be good. Okay, he seems to be stuck up there now. Terrific. Okay, at least I got him. I just died in the process. Kind of like this level structure in how it's an obstacle course. Ok, 
Okay, good, I got him. Now I just need the lightning to hit those two enemies. Slowly and steadily getting ahead of them. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna die so badly. But I like the structure of this level. It's like an obstacle course. Totally worth it. Yes. Okay, that was kind of bad, but that was kind of good. He has dodged it though, which is bad. I know how to deal with this. Just gotta wait for this lightning to come around. And since I failed activating it, it didn't work the way I was intending it to work. But that's fine. It's fine. Of course it's which side now. And he jumped! That bastard jumped! And now all the lightning is on that side again. Only for it to move over to this side. I should get it in the right time. Yes! Except that it missed again. Terrific. Come on, kill it, kill it. Yes! So lucky. So, so lucky. Oh boy. I love it when I kill the enemies as they kill me. It's just perfect when you do. So beautiful. So wonderful. Oh no, not the jumpers. I don't like these enemies. They're annoying. Mostly because the level they've been in have been annoying more than anything. Okay, starting to think that the items that drop, that doesn't drop from enemies, are not worth going for. For the most parts. Okay, good, got them both, and we're done with this level. And of course the fruit landed up there. I won't be able to make it in time, I don't think. No, actually I did. Just barely. This level is called Ouch, really. Okay, I can kind of see why it's called Ouch. It's called Ouch for the enemy, not for me! <laughs> really up there. How am I supposed to get up there and get it? Except for doing it like that, I suppose. Nah, uh, it's not without its share of, uh, you know, tries. Hey, wait, what, what? What happened with my letters? They just disappeared. Wait, I'm not stuck here. Why would I think I was stuck here? Okay, now I'm stuck here, because I won. Yeah, of course, the enemies that I want to take out first are the ones to get it the highest up. 
Okay, since when could they breathe fire? Since now, apparently, but still... Didn't I destroy you up there? Apparently not. Okay, now I got them early on. So now they're not gonna be an issue for me. Unlike this guy, because he moves faster, but he went to his doom for me, so that's just terrific. Hello James, welcome to the stream, hope you enjoy. This has a sequel on the NES. Thought there was only one version of this on the NES, but maybe not. Go here. Grab these. I don't think I'm gonna grab the other ones. Nope. Didn't have the time. Okay, so that's a way to fall down, apparently. Okay, so the regular green emerald gives me 900 points. And the candy I couldn't get a chance to get in time. I don't want them to touch me, because if they do, I die. Whoops! I did not intend to jump down like that. It just kind of happened. Also, I should probably lower my camera a bit. There we go. Oh, I see. You can't climb like that. All right. Now this guy's gonna be super fast, but it won't help him, because I'm better than his super fast attack speed. 51? Okay, those kind of look like a cross between Magic Koopas and para uh, I mean Koopa Troopas. And they throw a magic racket? What? Okay, he went down to be killed by me. That's awfully nice of him. That's nice. And then I killed them all. Man, it sounds like so gruesome when I say it like that. And uh, just like that I got a game over. When I kind of forgot what a game over looked like. <laughs> Guess I hadn't gotten in in a while. You know... Sure, I beat the levels rather quickly, but I also get game overs rather quickly, so... I wouldn't exactly call this being good at the game. By any means. Oh yeah, right. I kind of forgot that I could jump on my own bubbles. It's a bit silly when you forget your own powers, you know. But then again, 
How many dragons can remember to jump on their own bubbles? Clearly this dragon can't. Okay, so I lost my life, only to gain a new extra life. Not bad at all. I like that quite a bit, getting extra lives. Because it makes me survive for a bit longer. I'm gonna say that I do like the um, surroundings. What I mean by that is I like the textures of the levels. And then I got another game over. With a pat for the feeb. Not sure why I jumped into the enemy. If you have an answer, please let me know, because I don't know. <laughs> that was a rhetorical question, by the way. I know why I died. And I know why I jumped into him. It was because I couldn't see him at first, until it was too late. And by that point it was too late, because I died. So weird, sometimes you can shoot the bubbles super fast and sometimes you can't. Maybe it's an ability you pick up. That I just thought was a regular item. Okay, yeah, it's the uh, thingy. Okay, this is gonna be particularly tough, I think. Yeah, because it got stuck. I can't have it get stuck, the thing is. Ah! Okay, so I know I'm supposed to jump on the bubbles, but how the hell am I supposed to get higher up than that? Oh, I get it, I get it. I didn't get it. I thought I got it. Okay, I honestly hate this level. Because it looks like you're supposed to jump up there, but there's no way to actually jump up there. No, they aren't getting easier. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to get up there to attack him. Or even have the time to get up there to get him. Unless there's some kind of secret in the wall that I've been missing. Because you see, this guy also gets stuck like that. Not sure why they always go down. Yeah, 
I just don't get this level, to be honest. Okay, now I shoot longer, which won't help me at all. It actually just will be in the way. Because I won't be able to put them in the middle anymore. Okay, there we go. Really, you're gonna spawn here? Okay, I beat the level. It was difficult. I can't deny that. This game, this level almost had me beat, to be honest. So please, game, don't give me puzzle levels that requires plat precise platforming from bubbles in such regard like that. Because that wasn't fun at all. For me. Maybe it was fun for you, I don't know. But it wasn't fun for me. Trying to solve that level. I'm happy I solved it. But... I would not, never want to touch it ever again. <laughs> for some reason I thought I got a game over there. I don't know, it just felt like a game over moment. But it wasn't lucky for me. FA10? Not sure what that's supposed to be. Unless it's binary, which means that it's... I don't actually remember binary. All that well. Oh, what? You survived, really? Should be three in binary. FA three. Okay, I got all of the jump. I mean, runners down. God damn it! I always forget they can breathe fire. That's a lot of points. Should we go in for the bell pepper? Instead of the orange. Okay, this level is kinda like invader. Okay, I guess this is a versus mode for co-op. you try to kill each other as many times as you possibly can. <laughs> Here, let me plug in the controller in. Wow, I got zero points. And we got some more uh, NES classic graphical glitches. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Did these enemies carry onwards because I didn't actually fight them in the last level? If so, then that is just plain terrible in my opinion. Thanks game, put them in positions where I can't kill them without dying. 
Round 61, eh? Okay. Oh no, he has gotten stuck. Fuck me. This is not good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I have an idea. Maybe, yes, maybe I have an idea that actually works. Damn it. Nope, couldn't get him. God damn it. When they get stuck there, I'm dead. Okay, both of them went inside again. You know, I absolutely love it when you have to rely on random items to beat a level. Because that's fair, right? That's super fair, right? In which you can only beat a level by using an item that randomly drops. Man, this game has some really good game design that was ahead of its time, and it has some really awful game design that hasn't aged all well at all. So this game is a very nice mixed bag. The song in itself is not good is not bad by any means, but considering it's the only thing you hear and it's so repetitive, it drives you nuts after a while. So this game has a lot of you know good going for it and a lot of bad going for it. Needless to say, if you want anyone to go mad, force them to play this game. You know, it's fun enough so that you want to play it, but the music, man, the music just drives you nuts. After a while. It is fun though. I was about to say, man, sometimes I'm really stupid and then they shot me to death. Perfect timing there. Okay, at least I know how to deal with this level. Never mind, I thought I knew how to deal with this level. Turns out I was wrong. Okay, so I finally made it up there only to die. Terrific. Okay, this level is not difficult. You just need to time it correctly, which I obviously are failing with right now. Okay, so the second one you can't actually stay there for. There we go, beat the level. Like I said, not too difficult. It's just all about timing. 64. Oh, it's one of those levels, okay. Ok, 
Okay, they're gonna be a bit more aggressive now. Correction, they were a bit more aggressive. But not anymore. God damn it, I hate you can't jump there. So stupid. Oh well, not that the ladders actually mean anything for me, because I can't get the man away. There we go, another game over. <laughs> It's a good thing the game does not count the maximum amount of game overs at the very least. Really gonna stop me from getting the cucumber? That's awfully mean of you, game. I think I hate this level also. Okay, never mind. It's really easy to climb on the left wall. I don't hate this level anymore. Okay, there we go. The bubble apparently stop when you jump on it. So with this technique you can climb up fairly well, like that. Oh, I didn't realize he was still alive. There we go, got them. Just took quite a while. The fuck is this level? Okay, I don't even know what's solid on this level. Looks like a sad face to be fa upstairs, you know? Okay, so none of that is solid, just part of the background. Man, level 66 was a mess. <laughs> this level was really easy though. Which I don't mind. I don't mind the levels being somewhat easy sometimes. I guess the green stuff was only an item. God damn it! Killed me through the wall. The way I intended to kill him. Okay, that's also a way to beat the level, I guess. Okay, something Japanese, I believe, that I can't read. Level 70, it's a smiley face, okay. We also have the X over there. I do want the necklace also. Because the necklace is very good. Okay, another X that I don't want. I want the N. Oh, I can actually jump up and die from them. Good to know. But that also means I can kill them from above. Oh, from below, I mean. Okay, 
Okay, I died at the same time as he died. We just jump down and take them out casually or we're gonna die trying. Because I didn't plan that at all. Oh, almost got him. Wait, why did I do it stupidly like that? I could have just gone from the left or right. Grotus, you moron. Okay, this level is super easy. Just use the fire. To kill one of them from above. Like this. And then the level is beaten. I just made it more complex than it needed to be. Because for some reason I didn't realize you could walk past or through these. Or maybe I expected them to jump through these, I don't know. Okay, I can't kill them like that. That's a shame. Thanks, my own bubbles, for pushing me down. Appreciate it. At least I know how easy it is to travel upwards with the bubbles now. I also know how easy it is to die. Really? He got me that way? Okay. Fair enough. Well, that didn't end in my favor now, did it? Neither did that. Maybe I can just take them out like this. Let's try that. I cannot take them out like that. Okay. Okay, so I have two ways of beating this level. I can either rely on having a item drop that kills them for me. Or I can do it my risk away and hope that that works. Okay, that worked. That did not work, because I died. And man, these guys are fast on respawning. So annoying. Okay, I better move, gotta move on. Only to die. Okay. Timing those were pretty difficult. For me, anyway. Maybe there's a safer, faster and better way to deal with them, but... It is not working for me currently. Okay, so that seemed to have worked. Okay, now he's super aggressive, but I don't have anything to worry about in terms of other enemies. But I doubt that I will be able to get him! I didn't get him. So I can't leave them to be last. There's no way I can defeat them that way. Okay, some kind of mini game. Instead of actually, you know, beating them, you can always activate a mini game by mistake. One that actually gives me points. Give me an extra life, to be honest. Okay, now we are high tech, apparently. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Can't get the fruit down there though, but I'll gladly just beat the level. <laughs> Maybe it takes you to the final level. I don't think there is any. I don't think there is anything in the game that takes you directly to the final level, but I could be wrong. I don't know actually. Because I haven't beaten the game. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that all my bubbles are electrified. Shit, that almost killed me. Okay, I'm gonna win now. Pretty good item, to, not gonna lie. Okay, now I have regular bubbles again. Okay, maybe standing there tanking it is not the best idea. You know, for future reference. Don't tank enemies you cannot tank. Okay, so they're stuck here, which is good for my case, because I can just do that. I don't think the enemies have ever been easier to kill than this. Yeah, that was really handy being able to shoot the lightning bubbles. Okay, we have less than 24 more levels. Actually, we have 24 levels left. Not sure why I said it the way I said it. Because I was preparing for that game over, that's why. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wasn't preparing for the game over. It's only really the puzzle levels in this game that are difficult for me, but... I would want to survive this, though. It's probably best to deal with the shooters first. God damn it, the electricity bubble destroyed me. Man, just break the goddamn bubble game! Thank you! <laughs> that took its sweet ass time. Seventy-eight. Oh no, 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 no. I realized... As quick as I jumped up there, I realized I made my mistake. I got them all except for one. That's a shame. Oh, except for two, apparently. Go. 
E, T, and N is the letters I got. Okay, it's one of these levels where you climb on the bubbles again. That one will be easier to deal with than both of them will. Okay, this should be easy. Or at least I hoped it would be easy. Last one's gonna be anything but easy to get. Actually, if I just do it like this, it's gonna be easy to deal with. Oh yeah, right, can't jump on it from below. Or from above, I mean. <laughs> really? I caught him straight off the bat there. Seriously, game? Okay, I got him. Right on time there, because the ghost just spawned. Oh, it says shot arrow. At first I thought it said shot, shot tard, and it had me confused there for a second. Okay, so you've got a lot less time on you for these levels, it seems. Oh, there was no chance in hell that I would be able to get him there when he got there. So yeah, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of time in this particular level. Oh, he's alone now, okay. Okay, I should have gone for the orange instead. Oh, another climbing level, alright. It's fine by me, as long as I can get him before he gets me, which I did. Ooh, 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 I want that. I certainly do want that. Now the question is, how am I supposed to get the other enemies? Okay, I think I have an idea how. Yeah, okay, that's how you have to do it. Super annoying, difficult, but we'll have to do what we can about it. Damn it. At least I got him. That's something. Oh, I could have easily just jumped up like that. Okay. Okay, I'm stuck in the wall. That's not what I wanted. Now we gotta hurry again, terrific. Okay, at least I got him.
Please leave me alone, game. God damn it, got me! Just as I got the enemy. Okay, so he did they get me first this time. But I took revenge and beat the level with the earthquake. Another climbing level it seems. One that doesn't really want you to climb, it seems. There we go, we got him. Now we can deal with these guys from below here. Or so I thought we could. I had completely forgotten about their ability to throw paddles. Now the question is, how should I get the last one? By doing this, apparently. Okay. It's good for my case to do this. Oh wow, this looks like a mess. A mess I can work with. Now we only have the shooter left. And looking by this, this could actually be challenging to get to him. Oh, that was game over, okay. So maybe, just maybe not leave him alone for last. Maybe I should do exactly that, exactly that. Leave him for last, I mean. Another game over, right? Yep. Not too sure how to get to the guy in the middle, because he keeps killing me. There we go. Now we can deal with the rest of them. With ease. With quote-unquote ease. They still throw their paddles, we still have to break the bubbles. And they can still kill me from below. Okay, now I got him straight off the bat and I do want that necklace there. Because it's gonna make things easier for me, but I didn't get it. All I got instead was death. Terrific. Three left. Two left. And now we have ghost time, okay. Come on here, come on. You know you want to. Oh, are you kidding me? He killed me again. Could have easily done that. Okay, admittedly I walked into that one. Oh, 
fuck me, I died again? Come on, game. No! Okay, I accidentally activated two player. No, I didn't run out of continuous, I accidentally pressed uh, the wrong thing. CJCCI, can that be it? For the password? Oh! Oh, okay, good. I can continue from here. I can continue from here. Whew. I thought I had made a grave error there. I did not. Okay, that's lucky. I thought it would run over, uh, I mean, read over my progress. Or that it had saved over my progress because I accidentally started from the beginning. Okay, I might as well just die. Because this didn't go well at all. Okay, I managed to go through, but I didn't get him, unfortunately. And then his friends killed me. Okay, you can stand on them, it seems. That's good at the very least. So we'll just stand on them and they will die that way. There we go, beat the level finally. This level was a bit frustrating as well, but it was doable. Not sure what I expected there to be- Ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that! I couldn't get that. Did the password just spell out greed, really? Last one. And he went. Man, he had so perfect aim there. Or rather, he know exactly where to go to get me. There we go, beat 84 at the very least. Oh wow, okay. PMDC, I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's just run for this side. This was an easy level. I like the easy levels. They're nice. Oh, okay, this looks like a mess. But... I might be wrong. Okay, I angered the beast. And I paid the ultimate price for it. Oh, I can't believe I actually got, when, made that through, or made made that. That was so incredibly lucky. That was just pure luck. Nothing else, nothing more. Okay, we got the N again.
Okay, I actually thought I would die there when I hit the enemy. Okay, so there's two of them still alive and they're both up there. Oh, I killed him. Alright. I didn't even see it. Must have been with the water. Seems to me that a lot of this game just comes down to luck at the end. I want the fire to go up where I'm at. There we go. Oh boy. Well, I killed them all. That's what counts. Doesn't really matter that I died myself there. The fact that I all died is what counts the most. Okay, I definitely want the McDonald's uh, pump fritz there. Okay, I didn't get them. Man, I really hate the fact that they breathe fire. That's what makes these uh, trolls so annoying, the fact that they breathe fire. Okay, I grabbed them in time, good. Another one of these painful levels. Where we are forced to climb with the bubbles. Nah, to be fair, they're not too bad. There are certainly are worse levels than this, after all. Like the one where um, we had to go up through the middle. That one was painful. 91. Also looks like a mess. Okay, I get it. It's gonna be a lot of traps in this level. Yeah. God damn it, I'm gonna die. Okay, he's gonna die. Now I just need to time this well. I timed it anything but well. Okay, fuck me, I'm gonna die. But at least I'd kill- No, I survived. I survived because I turned one of them into a bubble beforehand and jumped on it. Talk about lucky again. You have a weird smell in your kitchen and you don't know where it's coming from. Kind of sucks. Have you checked to see? Oh, okay. So the cross makes you breathe fire. That's really nice. Okay, you can jump through the level. Not bad. I'll just wait for them here then. Kill them this way. How would you describe the smell?
Oh, another bomb that caused the uh, NES classic graphical glitches that occurs. It's something that wrong that occurs in the emulation that causes it, I think. I don't remember, but the drinks were good for something, right? Oh yeah, only points. But I did get these enemies to go up as well, so, you know, not too shabby. Despite that it ended with me dying. Okay, I didn't get him this time, unfortunately, for me. Are you kidding me? Why do I keep pushing at him outside? Can't believe I missed that lightning. And then I fell into the ghost and he killed me. It's like a mildew or something rotting, but I only get a whim of it there, here and there. I can't locate it. Have you checked your walls so you don't have a mold in them? Look, for example, look under the sink to see if uh, it's uh, moist under there. Okay, so McDonald's fries only gives you points. there. Probably can. Probably just have to... T no, I can't. Okay. Then I know what to do here. It's a classic jump up through the bubble heap. Okay, so I did all of this just to die. Terrific. At least I beat the level. That's all that matters. Yeah, it could be a dead animal as well, actually. Now that you mention it. about right this god damn it I almost had them but oh well I can easily get up there by doing this I think yeah Need to go a bit further. Here we go. That should do it. God damn it. Could have uh, had him, but uh, time did not allow me to get them in time. Really, I die twice. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Got them all. Of course, now we're running out of time again. Wow, 
Why didn't I just do that? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Didn't think about it. Okay, now we've got this. That's gonna go and grab the shoes, which might be a bad idea, because they make me move faster, which could potentially prevent me from doing this. Yeah, okay, grabbing the shoe is a huge mistake. I'm trying to game. But this is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Especially when you throw in your goddamn ghost, doesn't make them easier to perform. Just more difficult. Actually, I have a pretty risky but potentially working idea. Except that it didn't work this time. Okay, there we go, now I have it in the bag. There we go. Took it long enough, but at least I got it. Okay, those are gonna be inside. Like these enemies who sacrifice themselves. Oh, and then I got a game over because I didn't pay attention to my lives again. Only three more stages left, I believe. Okay, he killed me, but was his mistake? Has he died afterwards? That's good. Try to travel upwards, enemies. Oh, wow, he killed me from below, really. Well, I got my revenge. There we go. Good thing you can still jump on the uh, electric balloons if you hold the A button down. I can't see what this sends there or what it says. Oh shit, I need to be quick with killing these. Otherwise that will happen. I just have to kill them really close by for the best result. I got one of them at the very least. Okay, I have to be really careful where I jump on this level. I beat this level. Level 99 left. And that should be the end of it, I think. Ooh, a birthday cake. I want that. Okay, we both died at the same time. How <laughs> oh, lovely. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. 
almighty and whatnot. Also, why am I doing it like this? Because I forgot about the enemy being stuck there. Oh well. I can just wait this guy down and kill him like that. Can I get him like that? Possibly. I just didn't succeed with it. Okay, that was incredibly annoyingly stupid, but oh well. You win some, you lose some, and then you die. Okay, I'm on my last life. That's just terrific. And there's no fires here. I didn't realize that until now. Oh well, now he's dead at the least. Well, I'm fucked. So it seems like I only got one chance to die. You win some, you lose some, and then you die. Yeah, that's a classic saying of my end, actually. <laughs> that's a good description of life. <laughs> It actually is, though. It is a good description of life. Okay, so I can take care of this guy in two ways. One way of doing this, and then dying. But that actually worked. I think. Yeah, because now I could kill him. And then I would end up dying, because why not? this, which I didn't even know was possible, but it worked now. Ah, fuck, I got him, but I died. But I didn't kill him. Okay, got the first hurry, which of course makes the enemies go berserk. Okay, I didn't kill him, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Wasn't much else I could do about that. Okay, another hurry, really. Okay, I'm on my last life and I still haven't killed the guy inside the block there. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Alright. that one enemy remain. God damn it, the ghost got me still. <laughs> Fuck. 
Yeah, this level is hell. But it's also most likely the final level of the game, which is... Yeah, it makes a lot of sense for it to be all hell. At least in my opinion. Okay, I didn't think that guy would kill me this time, but at least I stopped one hurry up from it. Except that I just died instead afterwards. Oh, I'm on my last life. Terrific. Well, I can deal with those guys from that side, so that's good. It's just the guy that's stuck that is the worst pain of all. The necklace gave me some kind of special power, right? Maybe it didn't. Yeah, I'm just doing stupid mistakes now on purpose. I intend to die because I died too early. I need all, every single life I can get in this level. Let's see, the cherry also gave me something, right? Okay, I just died a painful death there. Terrific. Well, I locked them in. Didn't do any me. Didn't, yeah, didn't do me any good though. Okay. So now we're just gonna do badly on this level, right? That's how it's gonna be now. Fuck that carrot. He doesn't do me any good. Okay, so now he's dead. Any more fire here while we're at it? Nope, only at that side, okay. Okay, I got him this way instead. Good. And I got him, nice, nice. Now we just need to fall down here and get the rest with the fire. Good, we did it. Level 99 has been beaten. Finally. Oh, I guess it's boss time. Okay, so this is the actual end of the game. All right. Now again with those goddamn lightning effects on the emulator. Okay. Damn it, I died again! Ah, oh, god damn it, I was hit by a shot. Nah, nothing is like that one level in Inya Guy then. <laughs> Except for pure suffering. That is how I, ex you know, would. Uh, would uh, Describe Ninja Gaiden as pure suffering. I'm just gonna kill myself because I have gotten zero hits in and I've t died twice. Man, I really hate that graphic glitch on the emulator though. Okay, I got one hit in.
Okay, so he only seems to shoot when he sees me. Oh, I can destroy this projectile with the lightning, alright. Talk about lucky there though, how I destroyed all of them in, in the right time! Fuck, I fell into him and died. Well, I have been thinking of hacking my NES Classic for a very long time now, I just haven't bothered doing it yet. Oh wow, I barely dodged all of those attacks. No, 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 fuck me. I hate when he goes the same path as me and I die because of that. And I died again. How much health does this guy has? Oh no, he has 60 health. I just realized that's what the number 60 stands for up there. How the fuck am I supposed to hit him 60 times with the goddamn lightnings? Yeah, 60 fucking times! Uh, this is insane. But, it's a challenge that I would not back off, back out from. Okay, so you can double hit him. That's good at the very least. Okay, so maybe not sta stay on the same side is a good idea. And maybe not do this to have him this close to you. Would also be a good idea if you want to survive Grotus. Which side? Otherwise, I'll die again. Oh, never mind, I die regardless. God damn it, I hit him too many times. So I damage him 25 damage at the very least. Okay, one hit in and then he killed me. So ideally I want to damage him 20 before dying. Okay, I could have easily dodged that by just going to the right, so I don't know why I just didn't do that. Three hits is what I got in on him. Great! Your friends at the top are saying, save me! They certainly are. Okay, off to a great start, I'm just gonna kill myself. Oh, of course, now that I want to kill myself, I can't do that. That's typical. Except for there. Okay, I got three hits in. Man, the music certainly doesn't help. Okay, I should probably switch back over here so I don't get hit by him. God fucking damn it. At least I got plenty of hits in. 
And he killed me, of course he fucking did. No hits in. Man, I fucking hate this boss. Yeah, okay, great. <sighs> okay, he gets stunned for a little bit when he hits the magic. Or get hit by lightning, I mean. How did that even hit me? Okay, I did get plenty of invincibility frames there, only to fall down and die again, come on! <laughs> That's just sad. One hit and then death. Okay, it's done locking him near me so, like that. Deals a lot of damage, sure, but it also gives him an opportunity to kill me very easily. This reminds me of the Super Nintendo game Pack in Time, where it's a bunch of hard levels and an impossible boss at the end. Man, I haven't played Pack in Time, but the level in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and melee, in, I mean, and, uh, you know, Smash 4 in general. The Packland level is what I'm trying to say, it's horrible in that game. In Smash, I mean. You know what? Just kill me, okay? Just kill me again. I have lost way too many lives. Dealt no damage at you whatsoever. Now I'm not gonna get a single hit in instead. And I jumped into it, but it was either that or die from the blast. So you know, it was death either way. Just like that! Okay. You know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna kill myself again. Fuck you. Oh, I have no idea how to yet. That's why I'm gonna look it up before I do it. But I hacked my SNES Mini as well. Okay, he's gonna blast again, and I'm gonna die. I hate this boss. Man, this, uh, I would be happy with this game not having a single boss at all. That's how horrible this boss is. Oh, that was incredibly lucky. Let's stay on this side. Then build up like this. Fuck me, I jumped straight up to that. Oh, jeez, really game? Don't allow me to defend myself by any means. Just flat out kill me after one attack. <sighs> this is annoying. That actually worked. Okay, almost made it through there. I only hit him 13 times, so. 
Maybe it's best to just attack doing this when he can't attack me. Oh, okay, I would have survived if I had stood still. God damn it. Yeah, 60 hits. That's what it takes. Okay, no, nothing. My favorite attack of his is when he does it when I can't dodge it at all or even defend myself from it. But sometimes you can get lucky and just blast him with attacks like that, it seems. Okay, that was some lucky survival dodges there. Only to fall down into the blast of his. Okay, good. Managed to dodge him there. Oh, I got an extra life. Nice. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, goddammit. I was hoping I would be able to make it through. Okay, he's almost dead now. He has 22 more hits. Okay, that was my own fault. Only 8 hits left. I think it's some kind of fire magic that he throws at me. But it could very well be, as you say, chicken legs. Yeah, they actually does look like chicken legs. Man, I did not, not notice that. Good catch! Damn it, fell straight into that. Okay, that was an incredibly retarded hit to get hit by. That's why I killed myself. The annoying music doesn't exactly make things better either. Okay, that was on my end. Worst part is you have very little chance to get up to get the power up. Yeah, okay, might as well kill myself. I'm not gonna do it so well that I get an extra life at this point. I've hurt him way too little times. But yeah, the music doesn't help at all. It just makes the whole situation more annoying. Because the music sounds very taunting, you know? Okay, now I can't hit him for shits. That's terrific. Yeah, there was nothing I could do there. Good thing my invincibility helped me survive that one. Turn 
turn around. Oh, that was kind of lucky, not gonna lie. He could have easily hit me there. Fuck, I ran into that one. Only to run down on that one as well. It is troll music, definitely. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna go down, so we'll let us wait here and blast him on the b way back. Thanks, game. At least I hit him ten times only to die. Fuck me. There's no way. I'm just gonna go and kill myself again. Oh, of course, now I can't even kill myself. Yes, terrific. And as fast as I stopped trying to kill myself again, I died. Of course I did. This goddamn game, I tell ya. Can't believe I actually survived that. Yeah, I died now. So I didn't survive it for long. Damn it! Okay, so if you hit him half, you get an extra life when you hit him three times. Oh, 30 times. At least the game is decently kind that way. A little bit too early there, I think. Uh oh. Okay, eight more hits left then. One more hit. Okay, I got him, finally. And now there's a second phase. Bad end, this is not a true ending. Take the medical crystal ball and you will find a door to secret road. You gotta be fucking kidding me, game. You're pulling a ghost and goblin on me? Yeah, the game has pulled up. Ghost and Goblin on me. Fuck it. Where's my phone? Here's my phone. I'm gonna Google a password for the true ending. If there is a password for it. Okay, it should be the last stage super bubble bubble.
Okay, let's see. E. G. J. I. J. That should be it, right? Maybe Super Bubble Bubble is another game. Oh, okay, never mind. It seems like we can't get the good ending. Because it requires you to play in two player mode. And I only have one controller and I'm by myself, so. We can't get the best endings. Apparently there's a good ending 1 and good ending 2. We can get the bad ending 2 though. Can't believe I survived that. That tactic is really effective. God damn it, I died. Oh, he has more health now, I just noticed. Terrific. Yeah, okay, so maybe I won't get bad in number two either. Yeah, screw it. What, the room was smaller? Yeah, you're right, 80 points, wow. I did not see that. The room looks the same to me though, I'm not too sure if it's this smaller. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna do this. That's the end of Bubble Bobble then. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching Bubble Bobble, everyone, and this Nestacular Tuesday. I hope you all enjoyed. Consider becoming a part of the Frog Squad by subscribing today if you aren't already. Otherwise, have a good Tuesday. With that said, this has been Abigail Singh. Stay Frogger 1, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!